Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking. If you're new here, welcome. It's been a while. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to make this beautiful slipper that you're seeing over here. So stay tuned and let's get straight to the tutorial. So guys, I have my round rubber bead of 2mm and then a pair of scissors I have my lighter and then I have my fishing line of 0.25 and fishing line of 0.5 then my needle for the sewing my needle then I'll go to my already covered slipper I covered this slipper with a bias. I'll leave a link in the description box below on how to cover slipper. So guys, this is one side of the slipper. I've already done this one. So first and foremost, I'm going to be doing what I'm showing you, the Martin part of it. So let's get straight away. I'm going to cut about 30 inches on forward of the fishing line or any length that you can comfortably work with. So I went ahead and picked four of the beads, four of the beads. Now place the beads in the middle of your fishing line. Then you cross the last bead that you picked with the other side of the fishing line. You cross the last bead that you picked the other side of fishing line then you place them in the middle of your fishing line so this is how it should turn out after crossing them this is how it should turn out after you've crossed them after that, use one side of your fishing line to pick a bead, then use the other side of your fishing line to pick a bead as well. So as you can see, I have one bead at each side of the fishing line. So after that, you pick a bead I mean an additional bead and cross it with both sides of the fishing line like what you're seeing and this is how it should turn out after you've done that you continue to use one side to pick a bead and the other side to pick a bead like this like what we did previously then you pick additional bead and cross it with both sides of your fishing line. Okay, so guys, this is exactly how we're going to do, uh, how we're going to match until you achieve your desired length. So like I initially said, you're going to repeat this step until you achieve your desired length. You use one side of your fishing line to pick a bead. 
then you use the other side to pick a bead then you pick additional bead and cross it with both sides of your fishing line until you achieve your desired length so guys if you're new here and if not yet subscribed to the channel please click on the subscribe button like this video and leave a comment in the comment section and share this video to your friends and family So guys, like I said, you're going to repeat a step until the side length. And for me, I'll be I'll be needing 31 beads on on the side and 32 in the middle. Or better still, based on the slipper that you're using, you try to measure it with it. Um, sorry, with the design. If wherever you reach, it's okay. Then you stop there. So since I'm okay with the 31 on side and 32 in the middle, I'm going to secure it by passing my fishing line through the bead, creating a loop, then pulling it out to make a knot. So after I've tied the fishing line, I'm going to secure it more by passing the fishing line through the beads before I cut it off. Okay guys, so this is done. I'm just trying to measure it on the slipper to know if it's okay. So once I'm okay with it, I'm going to go ahead and um, make the, the bow on it. The beaded bow on it. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'll be using the 0.5 of the fishing line. I'm going to cut the length that I'll be comfortable working with. Or you can cut about 35 inches of forward. So I picked a bead. Then I pick another bead and cross it with both sides of the fishing line and pull it down towards the first bead and place it in the center of the fishing line. So this is how it should be. I'm going to pick another bead and cross it with both sides of the fishing line and pull it down to join the first and second bead. I'm going to repeat this until I have seven of them.
So here I'm counting to see if it's up to 7 of the beat. So after achieving 7 of them, I'm going to use one side of the fishing line to pick 2 beats. You realize that um, you'll be having holes on the sides of the design. Since it is 7, you, you, should, you should be having 6 of the holes created, created with a fishing line. So you count up to the second hole, then you pass your fishing line through that hole. After that, you pass your fishing line backwards through the last bead that was picked and pull out your fishing line. Make sure you pull and make sure it's quite tight. After that, you pick another bead, then you pass your fishing line through the next hole and you pass the fishing line back through the bead that was just picked. You're going to repeat this. You pick a bead, you pass your fishing line through the next hole and you pass the fishing line back through the bead that was picked. The holes are six, so by the time you finish this, you should be having six of the beads on the side of the first row. So you should be having six beads after you've passed through the holes on the sides of the design. So that's it. You're going to move on to the next stage. Here we're having five of the holes. So I picked two of the beads. So I'm going to count one, two. I'm going to count up to the second hole and pass my fishing line through it. The hole should be five since we are it's it will be decreasing. So the hole should be five at this point. After passing through it, you pass your fishing line back through the last bead picked, just as we did previously. After that you pick another bead and you pass it through the next hole and you pass the fishing line back through that bead. That was just big. You repeat it by picking a bead and you pass your fishing line through the next hole. Then you pass your fishing line back through the bead that was just picked. You repeat it again. I mean you repeat it by passing it through the hole and you pass your fishing line back through the bead that was just picked. So it's supposed to be in descending order. So you pick the next bead, then you pass it through the next hole, then you pass your fishing line back through the bead that was just picked. You pick a bead and pass through the immediate hole or the next hole and then you pass the fishing line back through the bead that was just picked. So as you can see the number is decreasing and the hole is also decreasing. So when I'm starting, I make sure I pick two of the beads, then I count up to the immediate first two beads, then I pass the fishing line through the second bead, sorry, the second hole, and then I pull it and pass my, my fishing line back through the bead that was just picked. So now I have only two holes left. So I just pick two of the bead and pass it through the second hole. 
Then I pass my fishing line back through the last bead picked. So, like I said, in descending order, so we'll be left with only a hole now. So I pick just a bead, just one bead. Then I pass through the hole, pull out my fishing line. Then I pass through the bead from behind. So that's it. We are done with one part of it, one part of the bow. So I'm going to finish up with the other half. So you should be having six of the holes on the other side as well, just as we did for the other half. So as I'm beginning, I'm going to pick two of the beads and count up to the second bead, pass my fishing line through it and pass it back through the last bead picked. After that, I just picked a bead pass through the next bead and pass and pass it back through the last bead that was picked. It's just the same as how I did for the other half. So pick a bead, pass through the next hole, then pass the fishing line back through the bead that was picked. You pick another bead, pass through the next hole, After that, you pass the fishing line back through the bead that was just big. You continue until the holes are done before you move on to the next row. Is it column or row? See? So after, after achieving that, we are moving on to the next row. So I picked two of the bead, count, I counted up to the second hole and passed through it. Then I passed my fishing line back through the last bead that was picked. Then I move on to pick another bead, pass through the next bead and pass the fishing line back through the bead that was just picked and pull out my fishing line. Then I pick another bead, pass through the next hole of the fishing line, pull it out and pass my fishing line back through the bead that was picked. So moving on, I'm going to pick two of the beads and start with a new column by counting up to the second hole, pass it through it and I pass it back to the last bead that was picked. Then I pick another bead and pass through the next hole and then I pass it back through the bead that was picked and repeat that by picking two of the bead and pass through the second hole and pass it back through the last bead that was picked. So here I have only one hole left just as before so I pass through the hole and pass it back through the bead that was just picked so we have we have our other half of the bow complete so we're going to join this together to make a complete bow so this is how it's going to be I mean this is how it's going to look like before we join them together so with the excess of the fishing line um, on it I'm going to pass it through the ends of one of the of the um of one half of the bow then use the other other end to also pass it through i think if you watch it you get me better
so after being able to pass through the both half of the bar with the excess of the fishing line you pull it up tightly like this and tie it down So guys, after tying, I'm just I'm just applying the lighter on the sharp the sharp um, excess of the fishing line to flatten it. So here we have our bow. I'm going to sew down the the mat on the slipper before I attach the bow. So let's do this. Watch me as I sew the mat on the slipper. So first and foremost, I cut, uh, I cut a comfortable length that I can use. Then I'm going to secure it on the bias by passing through the same area like four times. And mind you, I didn't, I didn't, I mean, cut the the fishing line, make the knot at the end, but rather I made one longer than the other. So I pa I'm passing through the bias at the same area for like four times. Then the excess of the fishing line, I'm going to use it to tie up the, the longer parts of the fishing line before I cut off the, the tiny excess of. So after attaching the, the fishing line on the bias, I'm going to start stitching down the mat by just Passing through the beads, I mean the holes in the beads, and passing my fish, I mean passing the needle through the bias along the line just to stitch it down on it. So guys, if you're watching and not yet subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing, give this video a thumbs up, share this video, and leave a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to also click on the notification bell so when I upload a new video, you'll be notified.
So guys, just as I started, I'm, I'm about to end the sewing of the mat on the slipper. So I'm just securing it on the bias by passing it through the same area like four times. Then I trim off the excess. So that is done. It's time for me to add the bar on it. So watch me as I do it. For the bar, I'm going to cut the 0.5 of the fishing line and use it to attach it to the slipper. Watch it carefully so you understand it better. So I pass my fishing line through the hole um, in the mat that I just stitched on the slipper. Then I pull it up and pass the other side of the fishing line through the same hole by creating a loop. Then I I I I place my bow on it and and tie up the fishing line. I don't know what I'm getting what I'm trying to to say. So this is it. I place the bow in the loop that I created with a fishing line that was passed through the middle part of of the design on the slipper. So watch it carefully and you understand what i'm trying to say so guys on this channel i share with you diys on bead accessories um i've not been uploading of late you have to pardon me for that but then from this time around i'm going to be bringing you more surprises Stay tuned, share this video to your friends and family, um, recommend this channel to other beat lovers and let's grow this family together. Thank you guys for watching this video. Give this video a thumbs up, um, subscribe if not yet, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment in the comment section and then click on the notification bell so when I upload a new video you'll be notified. So as you can see me doing, I was just passing my fishing line through through the beast just to make it more secured on the slipper before I trim off the S's. So that is it. Thank you guys for watching this video. Give this video a thumbs up. Stay tuned for more videos. I love you. Bye.